Okay, my friends, welcome to uh, homework 1.5 exercises. Uh, we're going to be doing five problems together, 5, 23, 25, 33, and 41. You can see the whole problem set up there. Sorry, written like a uh, seven, you know, five-year-old, but uh, 1 through 5, 9 through 11, 23 through 25, 33, 41, 47 odd. Um, okay, so here's some sample problems. Again, working on area. Um, and some tricks involved with that. So let's look at number five. Uh, number five is interesting because you can see we've got this X. And I just wanted to show you how uh, it works when they, they don't give you all the amounts and you're not going to get a nice, clean um, answer. And so let me just, uh, looks like the instructions are to find the perimeter and area of each of these shapes. Okay. So we'll start with the perimeter. Perimeter, again, is just the distance around. So I'm just going to add up the distances around this shape to see what they add up. Okay, so we're going to do 5 plus 3 plus x plus 13 equals my perimeter. So I got, okay, well, let's see, 5, 3, and 13, that's 8 uh, plus 13, so that's going to be 21. So my perimeter is 21 plus x. Okay, and all they want you to do is leave that because we don't know what X is. But if we were to find out what X is, we could plug it in and we'd know the actual perimeter. So uh, there we go. That's all you have to do. You just leave it in terms of X, kind of like leaving it in terms of pi uh, with the circumference or the area of a circle. So 21 plus X, I should put my units though. Uh, these were meters. So it's 21 plus X meters. Okay, no naked numbers. How embarrassing. Okay, so now let's take a look at the area. Uh, so area of a triangle uh, is one half base times height. So let's take a look at those. We have a base, and this is where again it might be a little throw you off a little bit, but I can see that one half uh, times three plus x is my base. It's not just three, but the whole distance across the bottom would be three plus uh, the x there. Okay, times my height. And again, my height is the perpendicular distance from the base. So that's my height there, 4. So 1 half times 3 plus x times 4. Okay, so I think the way, the easy way to recommend solving this is whenever you have that half, I always look for one of the other numbers that you could quickly cut in half. Um, I could distribute the half and do a half times 3, a half times x, but you're going to get your life way too complicated doing it that way. So I would first look at just going, because the order of multiplication, 3 times 2 times 5, or 1 times 4 times 6, the order doesn't matter. And so I'm just going to do 1 half times 4, um, and cut 4 in half. And you can see that that's 2. So uh, 1 half times 4 gives me 2 times 3 plus x. Okay, so now 1. Once you do that, the fraction's gone. Huh, stress is, is, is alleviated. And so now I have 2 times this quantity, 3 plus x. Well, we want to make sure we distribute here. 2 times everything inside the parentheses. So I'm going to do 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times x is 2x. All righty. And then, again, good algebra form is we usually put our x in front. So we want to say, that, so the area equals 2x plus 6 uh, meters squared because now it's area so I'm going to square my units meters squared and again that's because that's the area that this triangle takes up alrighty and again algebra review 2x and 6 they're different um, they're different types uh, they're, they're unlike terms so you don't want to sit there and go oh that's 8x or something like that no you have 2x plus 6 leave your variables and your constants separate Alrighty, so you'll have certain problems where dimensions are with an X, so that just means your answer is going to have an X in the answer. Okay, 23. Uh, 23 is an error analysis problem. In other words, they actually show somebody solving this problem. Uh, I think they show them trying to find the area of the circle, and you're supposed to identify who did it wrong. So I'm just going to solve it, and then you will see that the, the, they, I like this problem because they show a very common mistake that a student might make. Um, so if we're trying to find the area of this circle, we just want to say, okay, well, area is pi r squared. Okay, so then when I, I want to plug that in, pi, what's the radius of this circle? Well, it's not that. It's not 8 because that's the diameter. It's only half of that distance 
to the center. And so my radius for this problem is actually just four, four squared. So I wanna do pi times four squared, do my exponents. And again, remember that's four, um, that's four times four, not four times two. So it's not eight, it's 16, four times four is 16. So then we're gonna get pi 16. And again, we're gonna uh, leave in terms of pi. And so I'm gonna just, just say is 16 pi units are centimeters. So we'll go centimeters squared. So that's our area. And so when you look at the, uh, the problems there, you can quickly see, okay, where'd they make the mistake? Well, in A, look at they plugged in, I'm looking at the book now. Uh, they said eight times, or pi times eight squared. So there's the common mistake. Rather than just only do the radius, they put in the entire diameter. And so when that answer for part A, 64 pi, that's way too big. That's incorrect because they forgot to use the radius, half of it, versus they used the entire diameter on, on, on accident. Uh, so B is the correct solution, and so we want to note that. Okay, and you might even note, because it says Y, explain the error, uh, because the radius is 4, not 8. There we go. Okay, and again, I like that because that's just an e you can be doing really well and be like, oh, this is easy because it is, but then make those easy mistakes. And I even pointed out another one, which is remembering the radius squared is the radius times itself, not the radius doubled. All right, 25. 25 is another one kind of like number five that I just wanted to show you not to be scared of. It's a simple problem. Um, and that is where, again, you're going to have an answer with a variable. Uh, you're not going to get a nice clean answer like you know, 17 inches squared or something. But 25 just says, find uh, the area of a circle with radius 3y. The instructions say we're going to leave it in terms of pi. So again, area is pi r squared. So we have pi times, what's the radius? Uh, 3y. I went ahead and drew a picture for it just for fun. So 3y squared. Okay. So now I need to square 3y which again, a little bit of algebra review. That means I'm going to do three squared. So that's nine. Three times three is nine. It's not six. Watch out. And then y times y. Uh, so that's just plain old y times y is y squared. So three y squared is just nine y squared. Okay. And then I don't want to forget my pi. And again, if we we're calculating it, I could do 3.14, but it says leave in terms of pi. So let me just put things in the proper order. That would be nine. Whoops. 9y pi, or sorry, 9y squared pi. Uh, and we don't have any units on this, so we, I can just leave it like that. But this would be my area. So just getting confident in our algebra skills of being able to multiply, add, subtract when you have a variable and not feel like that, you know, or just remembering how to do that properly. All righty, 33. I want to demonstrate 33 because it takes area problem, but it kind of reverses it, which again can kind of throw you off because you get in the groove of using the formula, plugging things in, getting the area, or plugging things in and getting the circumference. Uh, 20, 33 is a problem where uh, they've actually given you the area and only one of the dimensions. So it's an example of where you have to work backwards. And again, why I wanted to go ahead and work through that one with you. Uh, it says that the base is two, the height is a mystery. Uh, we are in feet. I can put that in here, two feet. And so we need to find the height. And again, you might be able to mentally figure this out. That's great. I really encourage that. I'm going to show you kind of the slow, dogged way to do it um, in case you ever get a problem that's more complicated and you're not sure how to just do it mentally in your head. So I'm going to go ahead and write out the formula. This is a triangle. And so the area of formula for a triangle is one half base times height. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug in what I know. I know the area already. I know that that's 28, and that equals whoops, one half. The base is two, and the height is unknown. So I'm just going to put h. You could put x there, but since I know it's the height, I'm going to put h. Um, so now, again, we can solve this because I know everything except the one variable. But just notice it's in reverse. And so what I'd recommend is simplifying this uh, real quick. You have one half times two, and just remember that one half is just going to cut it in half. So half of two. Uh, is simply one. So 28 is equal to one H. 
the one is, is irrelevant, so we can actually just erase that. And so 28 equals the height, um, which is what I'm looking for. So that's that would be it. I'm going to go, I need to write it again, add my units. And we'll do it this way. Oops. 28 feet is the height. Um, a quick way to know if that's true is I could plug it in. If I plug it in for my height and I go, okay, one half times two times 28. Uh, well, what is that? Well, one half times 28 is 14. 14 times two is back to 28. So I can see how this is the right height if I want an area of 28 feet squared. So bingo. But notice again, if they give you the area or the answer, I call it, they give you the answer and you have to solve backwards to one of the other parts, just write out the whole equation or formula and then use your algebra skills to solve uh, for that variable. I think 41, uh, let's see, 41 is a little bit like that. That's why, or that's why I wanted to do it. It says, find the diameter of the circle with a given measurement. Leave your answers in terms of pi. So we're, it's a circumference problem for 41. And again, we're used to, you know, okay, my circumference formula is C equals pi times D, right? Pi times the diameter. And usually, okay, they give me the diameter, I multiply it by pi, I got my circumference. Well, 41, they're giving me the circumference. That's the same thing as what we did on uh, the previous problem. We just need to go, okay, I'm, I know my circumference already, so that's 14 equals pi times the diameter. And I want to solve for the diameter, so I need to get the diameter by itself. So the opposite of multiplying by pi is dividing by pi. So I'm going to divide both sides by pi. That cancels out here. And I'm just left with 14 over pi, which I could calculate in the calculator if I wanted to. 14 divided by 3.14, but it says leave in terms of pi, so I'm good. And that equals just now d's by itself. And d is what they asked me to solve for. Uh, they said find the diameter. If they said find the radius, I could take this and I could cut it in half. Um, and it'd be 7 over pi. Uh, but diameter is what they asked for. Uh, we do not have any units, so we're going to go ahead and leave it there. Must be a little bit of a nudist colony. They're all good with that sort of thing. And so the diameter is 14 over pi. And again, that's a perfectly acceptable answer because it's not rounded. You don't have to do the decimal work um, and et cetera, et cetera. All righty. So those are all the ones I'm going to demonstrate for you on this exercises. Again, reach out if you have any questions otherwise. Um, if you haven't noticed already, in addition to these videos, I am posting a PDF of my notes uh, because I know on these videos you can't control what you're looking at. And I'm, you might want to go back and look at some of my work. So there is a PDF posted uh, with every assignment of what I've drawn while making these videos. All righty. Good luck. We'll see you again for 1.6. Don't forget to take your uh, online quiz to earn credit.